Well, agriculture continues to become more mechanized. Given the labor shortages facing many aspects of our industry, robotics are set to play an important role in how our food is produced. Santosh Apitla with the University of Nebraska-Lincoln joins us now with the latest insight on changes in the industry. And Santosh, thanks for chatting with us here this morning. What can you tell us about robotics in agriculture? Thank you, Janet. Uh, so by the year 2050, uh, our, our planet will be home to 10 billion people. So what, that, that, what does that mean is there'll be increase in the demand for food, fiber, and a lot of other agricultural products. So it is very important for us to be very efficient when we are in the field and manage our fertilizer, chemicals, uh, and seeds very efficiently and all while taking care of the environment. So Precision Act technologies have come a long way, but in the future, we, got to, uh, we might get to a point where we need to treat individual plant and also, instead of talking in terms of per acre management, we'll be talking about per square foot management using agricultural robotics. What do you believe that's going to look like as we march towards 2050? Yeah, so I think uh, you might be seeing swamps of robots. Some of them could be small robots that can go under the crop, and some of them could be high clearance robots that are actually going through the field throughout the growing season, and they are gauging the health of the plants, and they're going to apply the right amount of fertilizer needed and the right amount of uh, chemicals needed to uh, target uh, weeds. Do tools like this exist already, or is it still something that you anticipate that we're gonna see farms in the future? Yeah, so many universities are working on uh, prototypes, uh, and also there are many startup companies in this space. Uh, here at UNL, we are very focused on uh, field robotics that producers can actually use, uh, and we are developing some robotic platforms that can actually go down to the field and do cover crop planting, which is uh, one of the very important operations where there are many labor shortages. So after surveying many farmers, we thought, you know, uh, one of the first applications could be we could use these robots to do cover crop planting, and then we could use artificial intelligence techniques uh, to target uh, weeds, especially the herbicide resistant weeds. Uh, we could use these robotic platforms to, to take care of them. All right, well, thank you very much for your insight this morning. We appreciate it. Associate Professor of Biological Systems Engineers at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, Santosh Pitla, joining us, of course, from the Husker State this morning.